if you are aware of a state which you call is, or reality, or life, this implies another state called isn't. or illusion, or unreality, or nothingness, or death. There it is. You can't know one without the other. And so as to make life poignant, it's always going to come to an end. That is exactly, don't you see, what makes it lively. Liveliness is change, is motion. So. You, you see, you're, you're always at the place where you always are. Only it keeps appearing to change. And you think, wow, a little further on, we'll get that thing. Uh, I hope we don't go further down so that we lose what we already have. But that is built into every creature's situation, no matter how high, no matter how low. So, in this sense, all places are the same place. And the only time you ever notice any difference is in the moment of transition. When you go up a bit, you gain. When you go down a bit, you feel disappointed, gloomy, lost. You can go all the way down to death. Somehow, there seems to be a difficulty in getting all the way up. Death seems so final. Nothingness seems so very, very irrevocable and permanent. But then if it is, what about the nothingness that was before you started? On the contrary, it takes nothing to have something. Because you wouldn't know what something was without nothing. You wouldn't know what the form is without the background space. You wouldn't be able to see anything unless there were nothing behind your eyes. So if you really go the whole way and see how you feel at the prospect of vanishing forever, of all your efforts and all your achievements and your, all your attainments turning into dust, nothingness, what is the feeling? Banquet hall deserted. After the revelry, all the guests had left and gone their ways. The table, overturned glasses, crumpled napkins, breadcrumbs, dirty knives and forks lies empty. And the laughter echoes only in one's mind. Then the echo goes. Memory. Traces are all gone. That's the end, you see. Do you see, in a way, how that is saying the most real state is the state of nothing? That's what it's going to all come to. All the idea of your being scared and put out and worried and so on, is just nothing, it's a dream. Because you're really nothing. But this is the most incredible nothing. Nothingness is really like the nothingness of space, which contains the whole universe. All the sun, moon and stars and the mountains and rivers and the good men and the bad men and the animals and the insects, the whole bit, all are contained in void. So out of this void comes everything and you are it. What else could you be?